Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at creating and applying SSL certificates to the Cockpit Web UI. To get started, launch XCA and open the existing database and log in. I'm going to use one of the existing certificates as a template, so I'll right click, transform, and select similar certificate. On the subject tab, I'll change the internal name and common name to the DNS entry that I'll be using for Cockpit. Then click generate a new key and create. On the extensions tab, set the expiration date, then edit the subject alternative name and add the DNS entry to be used for Cockpit. On the key usage tab, make sure digital signature and key encipherment are checked, as well as TLS web server and web client. Then select the Netscape tab and make sure SSL server is selected, then click OK. Next we need to export the certificate and key in a format that can be used by Cockpit. Right click on the certificate we just created, export, and file. Set the location to save the certificate file to, and set the format to PEM CRT and click OK. Then select the Private Keys tab, right click the key we just created, Export, File, set the location of where to save the exported key file. Save the file with the .key extension, as that's what Cockpit will be looking for. And set the format drop down to PK8, then click OK. Now that we have a .crt and a .key file exported, we can close XCA. We need to copy the certificate and key file to the cockpit host. Download WinSCP and extract the downloaded zip file. Then launch WinSCP.exe and connect to the target cockpit host. In the right pane, navigate into the Documents folder. Then in the left pane, navigate to the exported cert and key file and drag and drop them from the left pane to the right. We now have the required files on the Linux host. Next, we'll SSH into the cockpit host and log in. Now I'll we'll run commands to copy the exported cert and key file into the Etsy cockpit ws-certs.d directory. With the files in the correct location, we'll restart the cockpit service. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS name of the cockpit host, colon 9090. Cockpit should load and function as normal, this time using the SSL certificate we assigned. 